Hey guys, it's so Tom here, and welcome back to SCP Containment Breach. So, we're just going to have a nice, chilled out one today. Just call it YouTube, you know, as you do. Just a normal run. No intro, though. We're going to play on safe. We're just going to have a nice, chilled out run because I just want to talk about some shit. But, uh, yeah, so I've been gone for like six days, and I'm really sorry about that. I had videos ready because basically I went away for the weekend, Friday to Monday, so it was like a long weekend. Um, I had videos done. But not edited or rendered, and I just ended up running out of time. And I was like, I'm not just chucking up random things. Like, it just, I didn't want to upload what was done because it would have been like one video, and then there would have been a space, and then one video, which maybe would have been better in hindsight than nothing. But I just decided to keep hold of them, and then I could just actually do two a day when I get back, which obviously I am now. But yeah, I am sorry about that, but I will be back now. I've got four videos done, this being the fourth one. Um,. So there'll be two tonight, which you know already if you're watching this. And then two tomorrow, because they're already done. And then tomorrow, I am off work. So, I can record more videos and stay ahead. So it's all good now. I am sorry I've been gone for six days. Um, but I know, obviously, I'm about to say this, because you're probably thinking, like, you know, Friday. That's like four days, Tom, not six. But um, I was working all of last week, pretty much, until I think it was the Thursday. And then Thursday night, I started completely just smashing out all the videos, and it just I just couldn't get them done in time. That's, that's basically, I just couldn't get enough done in time while I was away, and I just just ended up not uploading any, which, I, like I say, I probably should have just done like at least one to break it up a little bit, rather than just nothing, but I didn't, and it's too late now. So, I, like I say, I'm sorry. Hopefully, you can uh, find it in your heart to not hunt me down, you know, based on my IP address and kill me, whatever. But, um, no, but seriously, I, I'm sorry, I've been gone for like six days, but I was just at work, and then I tried to record a load, didn't have enough time, and then I had to go, because we were going away, but, uh, yeah, I'm back now, we should be back on schedule, and hopefully this will be a nice seed for us, because if it's not, it's going to stress me out, and I don't need to be stressed out, because I'm already stressed, because I feel guilty for not uploading anything, so we need to just get a nice, calm run, just talk about some things, not really, you know, don't have to pay too much attention to the run itself because it's on safe mode, but we, uh, you know, pay a little bit of attention because you don't want to die. Um, but yeah, there should be, I think tonight, if it all goes to plan, which it should, I don't see why it shouldn't, tonight should be this video and a Happy Room episode, and then tomorrow should be Metal Gear and it's Shadow of Mordor, which there hasn't been a Shadow of Mordor in a while, which again, I'm sorry for, it's just, I've just lost track of the schedule. I've, I've been getting, I've been getting quite a bit of overtime at work working like extra days and things so it's just you know finding the time to record but now i've got a couple days off in a row after today i'm in i'm in work today i'm recording this at like two o'clock and then i've got work at five to ele oh, eleven <laughs> it's been a while since that's happened <laughs> Ooh, okay uh, yeah, I'm going to work to 11 on late, and then tomorrow and the day after that, I've got the days off. So there should be videos all of this week. And if there isn't, feel free to hunt me down. No, please don't. But, um... Oh, no. no, no run, 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 run. Ooh, okay, we're fine. Is this off? It is. Weird. Oh, ooh. I wondered why she wasn't... You know, that woman usually comes down and runs through, but I guess... Oh, but I guess um, that one's off for some reason. Okay, so all the doors on the left seem to be heavy zones, so it really doesn't matter where we go as long as it's not on the left, because we need to find everything first. Don't even try and turn me around, game. I know I've been gone for almost a week, but come on. I'm not that much of a noob. Okay, there's the security room. And this looks like a dead end. It is, okay. So I think there's a gas mask in this, so we might as well pick this up. Because, you know, why not? Just in case we can't find the other one and we have to deal with just having a level 1 from somewhere else and then level 2 um, without the gas mask room. But maybe... I'm going to go this way because I feel like this is probably going to lead to the right place. Actually, no. I'm going to look what's here first, just in case. Okay, no. We'll go this way then. If I had opened that door and obviously that was level 1 and then 2, then I would have gone that way. But it's not, so it doesn't matter. But uh, yeah, in case you're wondering where I went for the weekend, I went to Fort Park. It's pretty fucking good. I went on the new Darren Brown ghost train. Won't spoil it. But you end up like that at the end. No, I'm joking. But um, it's pretty fucking weird. I can't really tell you what happens because it all just 
If you ever go to Fort Park and want to go in it, it'll just make it completely pointless because you'll know exactly what's happening. But it's very, very trippy. It, it really confuses you and messes with your head. But in a good way. It's like you come off afterwards like, whoa, what the fuck just happened? How did they do that? And am I even, like, am I hypnotized right now? What the fuck is going on? That's, ba that's how I felt afterwards anyway. I mean, some people might have different experiences, you know, but... Yeah, that's basically, I got off of the ride. Where the fuck? Oh, he's there. I got off of the Darren Brown uh, ghost train ride, like, just so confused. I was like, okay, how did any of that even just happen? Was I hypnotized or are they just really good at tricking you? And what is happening? Like, it's just so, I was just so confused about what had gone on. But at the same time, I was like, I was happy because it was some, it was so different. Like, they use, um... The H is it HTC Vive, the VR headsets. You go in, you have to sit on this train, and you put on the headset, and then loads of weird shit starts happening. And then I won't say any more than that because if I say any more, it will spoil it. And if you're ever gonna go on it, then there's, it will just ruin it for you. So, but trust me, it's very, very fucking good. It confuses the absolute shit out of you. Well, maybe not you, but it confused the shit out of me. And I was very impressed with how it was done. You know how well it was done. And I came off very confused, but very impressed. So I would I would highly recommend the De recommend the Darren Brown Ghost Train because it was just really good. But all the rides at Fort Park are really fucking good. I went on the Swarm, which is like if you don't know, uh, it's basically like the seats are sort of off the sides of the rails, and you're kind of dangling, and it just fucking flips you around. It's really fucking fast, like. All the rides at Fort Park are just so good. If you don't live in England and you're ever going to visit, I, I would suggest going to Fort Park maybe. As, if you can, because it's just it's really good. The queues can be a bit long, but if you buy a fast track, it, I think it's quite expensive to buy a fast track, but you just get to skip the lines. There's like a separate queue for people that have purchased uh, fast track wristbands, but no one ever really does it because it is quite expensive. But honestly, it's worth it because just I would rather pay like... 40, 50 pound extra or whatever it is. That's just a guess. Whatever it is, they'd have to stand there for three hours and line up for a popular ride. Because it can be that long sometimes, you know. Like when we were there, one of the waiting times was like two hours and 20 minutes. And it's like, fuck, do you really want to wait two hours and 20 minutes to go on a ride for like two minutes and then get off, you know. So fast track is worth it. But, wow, we're at nine minutes already. Um... I'm trying to think what we need to do next. So we need to go to the refinery, which we don't actually know where that is. Hopefully it's not on the other side of a lizard room, because that's going to be a pain in the ass. but you never know. Also, I just wanted to say as well, if I seem a little, like, seemed a little unenthusiastic at the beginning of this video, I sort of, I wasn't 100% committed to recording today. I was a bit like, oh, I suppose I have to. And uh, that sounds bad, but I've, I'm just really fucking tired still from Fort Park because honestly, the rides are good. The hotel was not so good. I was like this close to the fucking ceiling because I had to. There was, there was a bunk bed, and I won't get into it. But I didn't exactly have the best night's sleep at the hotel room. Let's just put it that way. But um, but yeah, I was sort of like, oh, I suppose I need to record because I haven't in six days. But I'm so fucking tired. But now I'm here and into it. I'm actually like, yeah, let's go. Like. <laughs> I'm remembering the joy of recording. It's been a week. I'm glad to be back. I just need to find the refinery, though. But no, honestly, I'm glad to be back to recording. Because I have... I sort of... Before I started recording, I was like, oh, I'm so tired. Can I really be bothered? Like, I just want to chill out. And then I sat down and pressed record. Started. And for maybe, like, the first minute or two, you could probably tell I was a bit unenthusiastic. But, um... Oh, really? You need level three of... Oh, yeah, of course it is. Um... But now that I'm, like... You know, now we're into it. I'm remembering how much I actually enjoy recording. And I'm actually... <laughs> I'm just... The, the commentary is just flowing. Or at least I think it is. Maybe it isn't. Maybe I'm just talking like a fucking retard. And no one knows what I'm going on about. But... I feel like the commentary is going well. <laughs> especially considering I've been gone a week. And especially considering at the beginning I was too tired. And I was considering not recording in the first place because of it. But now I've, it's woke me up. I think the jump scare helps a lot. That always seems to help, you know. If you're tired... Get a jump scare, gets the adrenaline going. You're all good. It happened quite early in the video. I walk through a door, once in three, it's like, bang, in my face, you know. That shit woke me up. I felt the adrenaline just go, 
fucking explode out of my heart all over the like tips of my fingers and shit. What a good way to wake up. Well, I mean, no, not a good way to... <laughs> if I woke up with one of them three jump scaring me, I would probably just cry shit and then go back to sleep. Or probably pass out. Or all of it. Just probably all of it. But, um... If you're a bit sleepy, jump scares are the way to go. Or jumping in a really cold swimming pool. That always helps as well. Like, when I'm on holiday, I'll get up and I'll be like, oh, I'm so tired. I'll just go down to the swimming pool and just jump in. Like, I won't even think about it. Just jump in. It will wake you up straight away. So either jump in a really cold swimming pool or play a scary game and get jump scared. Those two things are like guaranteed to wake you up. Being jump scared or jumping in freezing cold water. You will be awake within seconds, trust me. Because that jump scare woke me up. And now I'm woke, fam. Okay. <laughs> Where the fuck is the refinery? Jesus Christ. Ah, oh, we've been here. Right. right. You know what? No, no, no. Right, right, right. We're going to go... I'm going to focus now. We're going to go in a straight line. We're not going to go anywhere else. Actually, I'm going to check all the side doors. But I'm not going to go down any of them. So that's the beginning. Which means this way is probably heavy zone, right? Okay, it, it is. We know it is. So we'll keep going in a straight line. We're not going to go down any corridors. Until we hit a dead end. If we hit a dead end, then we'll pick a direction to go. But if not, then we don't. But wow. We're almost at 15 minutes already. Okay, so here's level 2. So level 1 should be here. But there's a level 1 here, which we already have. Which means level... Okay, there we go. So keep going, keep going. Okay, so we keep going. Okay, now it's forcing us to turn left. So what we're going to do... The first... Ooh. The first right turn... Oh yeah, we're going to have to wait a second. The first right turn, I say, we're going to go down that. We're going to see if that's a dead end. And if it is... Oh, this top... It's all creased. If it is a dead end, then we'll go the other way. Okay. E oh, okay. Oh, shut the door. Why, hello there. Alright, so now it's going to be... Okay, good. Refinery. Dead end. Ooh! <laughs> now, I think it's possible, actually, for a level 3 to be in these rooms. So I'm going to check. Level 2, level 2, med kit. Okay, this is good though, because this means for the refinery when we do find it, we now, we've got 5 key cards now. Um, I might actually give very fine a go and see if we can get an omni key card. Because if we've got 5 key cards, that, you know, puts our chance up by a factor of 5. You know, 5 extra chances, well, 4 extra than if we had 1. So we'll have to see. Now, if we go to the, this way now, which is left from where we were coming from. Now we're going to go in a straight line this way and check all the doors. Hopefully, this is probably heavy, right? Yeah, so it'll be probably one of the doors on the left. If not, we might have to go through the lizard room, which I don't really want to do, but it, sometimes it's necessary. And you know what? I don't mind too much. This is off. Okay, we've been this way, but have we been all the way in the opposite direction? Because I know we came through that way because I remember seeing the dead end. Let's check both the doors. That's going to be heavy, right? Just I'm going to check just in case, but it should be... Okay, yeah, heavy. Should definitely save. I'm just remembering as well. It'd be pretty fucking bad if we got sent all the way back to whenever I last saved. And, okay, there's the mask room, but we can't access that yet. Let's keep going. Don't be there. Okay, yeah, this is where the fucking wake-up jump scare happened. And um, I'll probably go for like 20 minutes actually, because usually I record a bit closer to my shift, you know, when I'm going to be going to work. But today I've got a little while, so we'll probably go for a little bit longer. Until, um, probably go until I can access the heavy zone or until we hit like 25 minutes. Okay, so they could be the ways to the refinery, like these ways on the left. But I don't want to go down them in case it's just as simple as going straight. So when we hit a dead end, then I will turn around and start checking all these other hallways. We'll check the doors at, you know, immediately on the left. We know the ones on the right are heavy zone. I'll keep going straight. And then if we if we then hit a dead end, which we have, then I will check all these hallways. So now we're going to check these hallways. And hopefully, they will be what we need. <laughs> because if not, then it's going to be a long old episode. 
Alright, so there's that way into the lizard room. Now, if we can find the other side, we know we don't have to go in there. Alright, we've been this way. Let's go backwards, because we know we've been here. Okay. Hey, that's what I was going to say as well. While I was at Full Park, I was like, oh, let's play some Pokemon Go, get some legendaries. Because, you know, there's thousands of people here. Bound to be at least, you know, mate, at least ten of us that will want legendaries and go to that raid. One popped up, I went there. Guess how many people was there? Me! One person. In the whole of Fort Park, only I went to the legendary raid. Like, what the fuck, people? <laughs> and now I haven't got one. I still haven't got a legendary. But, um... Yet yeah, my nephew, who's a year younger than me, by the way. He's not, like, a lot younger, because I always say nephew, and people assume it's, like, a little nephew. He lives, like, 20 minutes away from me. Uh, by car. And... It's like, he he lives in kind of a similar situation to me with Pokemon. Like, there's not that much around. In it. Like, you can walk, there's enough. It's not like completely in the middle of nowhere. But, there's not that much. He's somehow got all of the legendaries. All of them. All three birds and Lugia. Because he found a local Facebook group for where he lives that has like 20 members or something like that. And if you say to him, there's one here, they all turn up. Garrett... Every time he's done it, all of them have turned up and there's been a group of 20. And so he has all three legendary, uh, sorry, all four legendaries. And even though he lives in a small, like, little town kind of place, like I do. So fuck knows, I don't, don't know how that happens. I looked on Facebook, by the way, in case you're thinking, Tommy, you should do that as well. There's no group for my area where I live in. There's one for his area. There's one for another area that's, like, another 20 minutes in the opposite direction. But my area doesn't have one. Also, we're in the wrong fucking place. I'm getting lost now. But yeah, my area doesn't have one, so I'm going to have to go to his house at some point and then just hope a legendary raid pops up and then hope that when he messages the group, they are all like, yeah, I'm available and turn up. Because knowing my luck, I'll go around there and it'll be the one time that no one is available in the group. Like, they've been available every other time. And then the one time I'll be at his house ready to go do a legendary raid, they'll be like, oh, sorry, I'm busy. And no one can fucking turn up. But I don't know, well, I'll have to try and I'll let you know if I get a legendary at some point. Let me know if you've got legendaries in Pokemon Go. I know this is like completely fucking unrelated from Pokemon, but it's come up as a talking point, so why not? Right now, oh, it's fast. I forgot about that. Oh, fucking Jesus Christ. Fuck me. All right, I think we might have to go through the lizard room. I'm not 100% sure. Probably not. I'm just being a bit of a div. Oh, fuck. We're actually... Okay, right. I'm going to go this way, and I'm going to go left the first chance I get because this is where we came I was like no let's go back and check so this should link on to the other hallway which could be the refinery I know it's that so that's not quite the refinery let's go straight down here I, w I just want to see if I can find the other end of the lizard room because if I can all right all right good 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 so we're, we've been here once before but I don't know if I carried on going or not okay right here we go there's a door on the right this is the beginning. So, what if we just go straight ahead? Have I tried this yet? Probably, but I don't remember. I apologize if I'm being really, really fucking stupid and just missing an obvious place. Oh, no. See, we're actually now just like... I think we've got a seed where... The refinery is probably on the other side of the lizard room. You know what? Fuck the refinery. Let's go. Let's get to Heavy Zone this way. Hopefully it drops in the room where the level 3 key card is. Hopefully we get an easy way out of the uh, pocket dimension. Because if not, <laughs> going to be in some trouble. But no, we should be fine. I'm going to do this one. My mouth is very dry, I've just realised. Oh, Like, really dry. Holy shit. Oh, okay. That has not happened in a while. Usually I always pick the first one and get teleported somewhere else, but apparently that can still happen. I didn't know that. Oh, we haven't escaped, so we didn't get the achievement. Oh, shit on toast. I don't like this place. <laughs> I can never... Alright, 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 alright. All right, all right. So if we stand here... Alright, just wait a second. Just, I'm going to stand here and we're going to go. Go, 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 go. Okay, so it doesn't hit just before this line. 
All right, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Now, where does it not hit? So I need to walk forwards and just keep going. As soon as it goes past, go. No, wait, 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 wait. Not yet, not yet, not yet. And you stop for a second, and then you go. And then you go. And then you go. Ooh. Okay, I don't remember what we do now. Now we go, we go, we go, we go, we go. And we have done it. Yes. Where are we? <gasps> yes, this is like... There's like three different places you can get dropped, and this is probably the best one. Getting dropped inside 106's chamber is so good because you go downstairs there's a level 5 key card you have access to the whole facility now this is out of the places you could be dropped off after the pocket dimension this is straight up the best one you can get dropped in the elevator room where there's a level 3 key card and a med kit you could get dropped in the middle of just bumfuck nowhere in the heavy zone or you could get dropped straight inside 106's chamber, grab the level 5 keycard, contain 106, you then have access to the whole facility and don't have to worry about 106. And would you look at that, the level 5 is actually here. Sorry other keycards, you're all fucking useless now, alright? There we go. Unorthodox tactics. Title of this video because we just used the pocket dimension to actually to transport ourselves. But that is going to be it. For today, because we are at, oh, actually over 20 minutes, and I do have to start getting ready for work in like 20 minutes, so it works out. So, um, yeah, like I say, that'll be it for today. That actually worked out really well. We got like the best possible place you could be dropped off at after the heavy zone. The other places are okay, well, one of them is just absolute shit. The elevator room is okay, you get level three. This is the best because you straight away get a level five and you have the option to contain 106. So, it's the best place. But uh, yeah, so like I say, that'll be it for today. Sorry again that it's been so long, but we are back now. Two videos a day, I promise. And there will be some streams as well at some point. I will let you know on the day when that's going to happen. So keep an eye on the channel. Don't forget to ding the bell. You know, if you ding the bell, you'll see the notification for the live stream video announcement thing. You, I hope that made sense. Anyway, that'll be it for today. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the like button, leave a comment down below, or subscribe to the channel for more videos. Any of that stuff will be massively appreciated. And I'll be super thrilled if you have a wedding of it. <laughs> yeah, so again, thank you so much for watching. As always, I'll see you in the next video. And goodbye.